if alpha and beta are the zeros of the quadratic polynomial f of x equals x square minus 2x plus 3 we need to find the polynomial whose roots are alpha plus 2 and beta plus 2 so from this polynomial using the relation between zeros and coefficients we can say alpha plus beta is minus coefficient of x by coefficient of x square so in this case it will be minus coefficient of x is minus 2 coefficient of x square is 1 so alpha plus beta is 2 now the product of the zeros will be equal to constant term by coefficient of x square in this case constant is 3 coefficient of x square is 1 so alpha beta is 3 now we can find the value of now we can build a polynomial with these roots so for doing that we need to find the sum of the roots and product of the roots the so sum of the roots is equal to alpha plus 2 plus beta plus 2 which is equal to alpha plus beta plus 2 plus 2 will become 4 and alpha plus beta's value is 2 so 2 plus 4 so the sum value will be 6 this is the sum of zeros now the product of zeros product of roots is alpha plus 2 into beta plus 2 so by multiplying this alpha into beta is alpha beta alpha into 2 is 2 alpha 2 into beta is 2 beta 2 into 2 is 4 so alpha beta value is 3 plus from these two terms we can take 2 common this will become 2 into alpha plus beta plus 4 3 plus 4 is 7 plus 2 into alpha plus beta is 2. So this is equal to 7 plus 2 2 is 4. So the product value is 11. The sum of the zeros is 6 and the product of zeros will be 11. The general form of a quadratic polynomial is k into k is any constant into x square minus sum of zeros into x plus product of zeros. So we just have to substitute the value of sum and products here so x square minus sum of zeros value is 6 so 6x plus product of 0 value is 11 and this is the answer to the question answer is k into x square minus 6x plus 11 if you have any doubts in this question feel free to discuss in the comment section thank you